I'm Wendy Daniels with Revolutionary PE, and this is football drills and lead up games. We make a U next to our ear, and we talk about putting our fingers on the laces and our thumb on the other side, so we're kind of cradling the ball. We put the ball in that cradle, and then we slide, slide, throw. So for kinder, first and second grade, we have them throwing at a target. Uh, we, we say aim for the numbers. In this instance, whatever's on their shirt. So thank you, you could go back to your line. And then we set up dots and are you guys pretending you're little kindergartners? And we have these balls that we really only use for throwing for kinder. The kids don't like them if they get hit with them because they have all those little bumps on them, but they're great for little hands when they're learning how to hold something and it not slip out of their hands. And we, t we remind them to make a U. Can you everyone make a U like this next to your ear? And we spread out our fingers and that's how we're going to place the football. So now place the football, and then um, you're, you're actually going to have to stand up for me. Thank you. And you're going to take us, put your opposite foot forward. And then your side body in football faces the target. So can, can just like a quarterback, your side of your body with that foot that's forward is facing the target. And then the ball is by your ear, and we only throw with one hand. And our weight shifts, shifts forward to that front foot. Ready, shift and throw. Good. And then we ask them to go around the net if they can. And they're always aiming at that target. They take it back to the next person and then the next person goes. Good job, guys. Ready? Just relax, point with that hand, step and shift your foot and weight forward. That's all right, that's a good throw. Just try to aim at that target next time. Nice, pretty throw though. All right, bring it to the next person in line. Now, as they get older, we can get further from the target so they can move back. And that's probably more natural for these guys. Remember your opposite foot is forward and it's just a natural throw. Ready, throw. Good, nice, good job. All right. Okay. Now I can't stop it. With kinder and first grade, we do a drill that's an underhand shuttle pass. So we ask them to still try to line up their fingers on the laces and they turn their side body to the person behind them like they're going to throw it. So they're like that, right? By your ear, put the, put the ball by your ear. Are you left or right handed? So put it in your right hand and then you're going to put your other foot forward. Okay, opposite foot, good. But no one's open, there's not a receiver. So they do an underhand toss to the person in, that is behind them. And then if they lose it, that person is responsible for going to get the ball, so we never skip anyone. And then she gets a turn and she gets the ball in your throwing hand. And then she underhand tosses it to the person behind her. And they just keep underhand tossing. We're always aiming at the chest, what's on the numbers, and the last person runs to the front. And then everybody takes two giant steps back. So the first person is always on the red line or dots. And the last person is always on the red line. With kinder, I don't recommend having someone run to the front. It's best to just have them stay in their spaces. So let's try that again. All right, and see if we can do it faster. When everybody's had a turn, then we move them to a target and they do target practice. Awesome, great job guys. Second through fifth grade, we do a passing drill to a partner. We have the footballs on the double black line. We remind them to hold it with their fingers on the laces spreading out their fingers, make that U next to their ear, step forward with their opposite foot and throw just to their partner and count how many passes you can make without dropping it. We have to remind the bigger kids not to spread out too far because they like to throw it as far as possible. So they have to stay on their lines 
and to be careful not to run in front of another group. So we play music, we give them about, we give them enough time to try to make a hundred catches. All right, how many passes have you made now? When we do kicking from a tee, we saw that students had a really hard time just setting up the tee. So we kind of came up with, we talk about how the tee has three feet and these two feet point to me, two to me. And then we say these tips of the football point to me and we laces away. We also talk about how the football has a belly and we're trying to kick this belly with the laces on our shoes and we point our toe. So I tell them, do I have much of a belly to hit here? And they say no. So then I hold it up here like it's supposed to be. And then they understand that more of the belly showing makes it easier to kick. When we're teaching kindergarten how to kick the ball, we are only concentrating on them uh, planting their foot next to the ball and actually making contact with the ball. We don't care about anything else. We want them to point their toe. We want them to kick with the large bone of their foot. So we tell them to point their toe and kick with their laces. We do teach them how to set it up in the T. So we only want to kick. All right, with first grade kicking, we are uh, lining up our dominant foot behind the tee and have our planting foot next to the ball. And then we step back, starting with our kicking foot, three steps back. And now in first grade, not only are we planting our foot, we're trying to advance towards the ball. So we're wanting them to step, step, kick, and follow through. We are kicking outside when we get to uh, third through fifth grade because of the ceiling tiles. So now that we get to second grade, what we do is we get them to take all of the steps. So they step back, starting with their dominant foot, three steps. And then because I'm a right-hander, I'm going to step two steps um, to my left and I'm lining up my kicking foot with the ball. So I angle my body, and then I would progress up to the ball and kick through. And it's okay if my toe is a little bit to the side because when I follow through with that bone, it's gonna hit that ball. Now if I'm a lefty, I demonstrate that I step back starting with my left foot, three steps back, but now I step to my right two steps and again, I angle my body at the ball and my left foot would be lined up with the ball, which I'm not, so I'm not gonna demonstrate that. Thank you. All right, you put your planter foot next to the ball, your kicking foot behind the ball, and with starting with your kicking foot, take back three steps. Ready, one, two, three, and then to your left, two steps, so your right foot is lined up with the ball. If you were a lefty, you would have taken two steps to your right. So just when you're ready, remember to point your toe and kick through the ball. When we teach uh, kicking from a tee, we also teach punting. So we talk about different finger placement. So you can have, we say, put your thumb on the top and your four fingers on the bottom. And then when you go to kick, you're not gonna toss the ball. You're actually gonna drop it as you kick with your laces. So point your toe, kick through the ball. Good job, look at that go. Our thumb on top, four fingers, that was nice. Wow. So when you're holding it sideways, it kind of wobbles like that for you. Hold it at the pointed end, so the tip. Put your thumb at the tip. There you go. Nice, beautiful. This drill is called hike, pass, catch. So we ha what we do is we talk about the positions. We have the receiver, we have the center who has, is hiking the ball, and we have the quarterback. And so the center hikes the ball 
to the quarterback. The, she steps out of the way. The quarterback throws to the receiver. The receiver runs down to the end of the line. And now the center becomes the receiver. The quarterback becomes the center. And then he hikes the ball to the new quarterback. Okay, and then they pass. The next drill that we do, we have a defender. Now she is on the opposite team and everyone is given a scarf. We do have flags, but it takes a lot of time to fit flags to people. The scarfs are very easy. We say to take about two inches and tuck it in their band. So the same thing, we have the center, the, the center that's hiking the ball to the quarterback. All right, ready? Down, set, hike. Good, and he throws to the receiver who then has to run past the defender and try to get her flag uh, pulled. We ask them to try to stay in their lane and we only do this drill with third, fourth, and fifth. So now the, the defender will stay the defender for three people or if it's a small team, it could be till everyone's had a turn. So then we have a new receiver come back to the center. So we have a new receiver. And then he throws, hikes the ball to the quarterback who throws it. And then he has to run past between the cones. Good. Our, this game is for kinder and first. It's a lead up game for football. It's called Dragon Tails. So what we do is half the gem lines up behind their color dots at this end of the gym. So we have red, blue, purple, green, orange, yellow. And then the opposite side of the gym, west side would be the Knights. And they are in the hula hoops and they're trying to pull the dragon's tail. So we tell them to take only like two inches and put it in the band of their, the side band of their pants so it's on their hip and that they can't hide it and they can't hold on to it. And then I number them off. I'll say, if you're at the front of the line, you're a one, next is two, and so on. And you can't run straight. You have to try to be like a football player and zigzag through all of the hoops. Ready? Ones go. So they go past the knights, try not to let them pull their tail and they keep going all the way, keep going. Keep, both of you keep going all the way to your dot, even if your tail is pulled. So once they get to the other side, they sit down behind their dot and we say, okay, knight, sit down. All right, if you have one tail, stand up. Okay, if you have two tails, two tails stand up and no one does we keep going through so the highest number of tails wins so rebecca wins one tail good job congratulations and then we say if you lost your tail please go get it so if you lost your tail go get any color it doesn't have to be the same one and then they get to come back the other way so um if it's kinder no you're gonna grab oh no grab your tail from rebecca and then go back to your dot. Thank you. And then they stand and they're gonna try it again. This time they're gonna try to get by without losing their tail. All right, stand up, knights. Get ready. Ready, ones go. Twos go. We'd have all these hoops filled, by the way. You, you put out how many hoops you have and you're trying to run. You can't go through the hoops, but you're trying to run and try to get to the other side. All right, great job. All right, this game is called bamboozlem, which means to trick someone. And we put, we usually play two games and play this outside for safety. The offense is over here and they have the flags and they have erasers. Usually they're six because a touchdown is six and they huddle together so the other team can't see and only two of the players this time are going to get it. Usually six people would get one and they all hide their hands and pretend they have it and put their hands behind their back. And they're trying to go past this defensive team on this side 
and make it in the end zone. Now, only the people that make it to the end zone with an eraser actually score. So then we say, down, set, hike, and they go, and they run, and they try to make it in the end zone. And then once we're over here, I say, okay, show me your hands. Do you have, who, how many erasers do we have? All right, so if we would have all six, we would, if this team pulled a flag, the student would need to sit down, so, and then they would be able to show their hands and take an eraser, so we'll show that. Okay, this team gets four tries because they get four downs. So go back to your side, second down. Three. In the second down, I ask for those students that have already had it to show me fist instead of open hands, and we try to put it in someone else's hands that has not had a turn. But we also want to trick people, so sometimes they get a second turn. All right, so this is the second down, and then they give a little cheer. Go LC! And then they come to the line, and they don't have to come to the center line. And this team I asked to come closer, and then they're going to try to go to the end zone. When I say, down, set, hut, and they go. And if they get their flag pulled, they have to sit down and they have to show their hands to see if they had the eraser. All right, now the other team, even if they get the eraser, they don't score. They only get a score when they're offense. So this is second down. We would have two more downs and then it would be the other team's turn. So over here, we would go into the end zone and we'd see that they made one point. So before they had two, now they have one more, they have three in the second down. So then we go to third down. We hope you enjoy this game. This game is a lead up football game called end zone ball. In end zone ball, you have your east team and your west team, and you'll see on the scoreboard that we have the home team, the blue team. So one person from the blue team, um, can I get one of you girls to go into the end zone behind the other team? Your end zone is behind the other team and you're going to put on a jersey. And then the, the guest team, the red team, is going to send one person into their end zone. We usually have six. We have a whole color team, but for this demonstration, I don't have a lot of students. So they put on the jersey and the goal is for the, each team to throw the ball into the game. And then they have to take their ball to the scoreboard, put up their point when they catch the ball. Now the other teams, the other players that are throwing the ball also can block or intercept a ball. Okay, so let's see. And we usually play with about 20 to 30 footballs. Right now, we don't have very many. This is just a short demonstration for you. So ready, set, go. They grab a ball. They throw into the end zone for them to catch. When he catches it, he takes it to the scoreboard. He puts up a point. They keep throwing. Good job. He throws it back in. We can have a teacher there at the scoreboard to check the catches. So when they throw and keep going. If there's a ball that's out of bounds, we stop and say reset the game. So they go ahead and put up your point. Please put the balls back on the center line. And now we need blue team to go into the end zone to be the receiver. Now, usually when guys tell me when the receiver catches in the end zone, how many points do they get? Six. So, but we're just counting the touchdowns on the scoreboard. We tried when we had someone that would sit out sick, we would give them a little math lesson and let them do six points every time. But this game is so fast scoring, it's really difficult to do that. So please give the jersey to someone else on your team. All right, and then go into your end zone. 
Let's give him enough time to put the jersey on, please. Thank you. And then we start the music and the game begins again. Ready, set, down, set, hike. <laughs> All right, they get the ball, they throw into the end zone. And when you catch it, you take it to the scoreboard and put up the point. No, yeah, you're right, blue. Yeah, can you switch it? Because I think the score for red should be two and red and blue should be one. Yes, the jersey color, the same as the scoreboard to make it a little easier. Thank you. All right, so keep going, keep playing, throw, catch. They do have to catch it behind the line for it to count. If it bounces, it doesn't count. Good. And take it to the scoreboard. They throw it back in. Almost. Oh. So we have six color teams. We make sure that every color group gets to go into the end zone. All right. Everybody huddle up back to the center. We ended on a tied game. What do we say? Good, Good game. Good game. Awesome. Oh, Bert. Okay. So blue wins by one point. Good job, guys. Thank you for helping us. Everybody say goodbye. Bye. For a full year of lesson plans and games like this, get lesson plans for elementary PE on Amazon now.